at the moment there's a proposal to build a new coal-fired power station at Kings North and it would be catastrophic for the climate to do that. Coal is the dirtiest source of electricity and if we carry on using dirty coal then we're not going to be able to tackle climate change and that's going to have a devastating impact on the world's poorest people. The people that are being affected right now by climate change are unfortunately those who haven't actually done anything to cause it. So people in the developing world, those are the people who aren't using fossil fuels, they're not driving big cars and they don't even have electricity half the time. And people like us here in the UK are extremely lucky to have the lifestyle we do, but unfortunately it's causing other people huge amounts of, of problems and that's only going to get worse. as well as far as like political activism goes it has such a stigma and it can be so alienating whereas something like this which encourages families to come down on a really nice day and do something that is really encouraging and really involving for everyone and there's face painting and there's music and there's something as lovely as like making a big miller band as opposed to kind of a lot of the political climate related activism which is kind of can be very destructive and more alienating for the cause I think. We've got representatives from Oxfam, RSPB, the Women's Institute, Woodcraft Book, the National Union of Students, the World Development Movement and Friends of the Earth. I'm fed up of short-sightedness. I'm fed up of big companies dominating the debate and I'm fed up with the sense of impossibilism which you see at almost every single turn in these negotiations. We're supposed to be custodians planet for the future, for the long-term future and not just for the immediate future which is the kind of decision base that most people use. We have a climate change deal that's going to be brokered this year in December. If the rest of the world see that the UK government is not delivering domestically in terms of good policy and good practice, we have absolutely no credibility on the international stage. <laughs>